Lay down now. Come here. Lay down. Now. Well, I'm Jamal um, and this is Kenzo, um, my alibi, uh, also known as the Asian Shepherd Dog. I had him imported from uh, Belarus um, and he ended up being more of a, a rescue dog. I was in the market to get a new dog, um, but my friends originally bought the dog, um, not realising how big it's going to get. Some people said that he stops growing at three, and some people are telling me that he stops growing at four. On his back legs, I think about six foot. Last time I weighed him, um, and that was a few months ago when we went to the vet, he was 85 kgs. He's eating nutritiously every single day, so hopefully this should be it. I will give him a kilo of raw meat every single night, um, and, but throughout the day he might have a little bit of kibble just to keep him going. Um, and roughly I spend about £25 to £30 a week on just his raw food. He would live outside at night time and then I made a, a, a nice little house for him in the back but he would bark at night time so I got a lot of complaints from the local residents um, and then I ended up having to buy a house you know for me to kind of move into I wasn't supposed to buy a house anyway but I made sure that I bought a house with a big garden. In the garden, I've had to kind of make sure that I've built him um, his own, own outdoor kennel. Um, yeah, so there's been a lot of adjustments. When I first got him, uh, my daughters were very scared and intimidating, obviously, because of his size. Um, but it was the first time that they were kind of integrated with dogs or pets anyway. And then it got to a stage where um, they are so comfortable and bonding with one another. Um, now my daughters can take him for a walk, yeah. Uh, but my youngest, obviously, I supervise when she takes him for a walk and stuff as well. And you know they've built a really good bond. It's not like a small little dog. I can just pick him up and you know put him in the car or you know travel around with him lightly. I always have to make special arrangements if I'm travelling, going anywhere, taking him with me, or going anywhere overnight. Originally, he was had very anxiety, had high anxiety levels of being in a vehicle or going in a car because of how he was transported here as a puppy. Um, but over a period of time, now he's broken that fear. He's happy to get in and out of a car. I can't have more than me and one person and a dog in the car because the car's not big enough, so I have to put all the back seats down. So yeah, transportation, the size of him, you know, it's just... But again, it's worth it. I can't walk from my house or more than five minutes to the shop because I get stopped once, then I get stopped again, then I get stopped again, then I get stopped again, and it's the same question. What breed is he? Where's he from? How old is he? Can I, can I stroke him? Can I da 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 da? And I don't really want to be a mean dog owner and say no and not answer people's questions. Uh, and not allow them to kind of interact with Kenzo. However, Kenzo's got a special word. If I say friend, then he knows he can interact with them. Um, and then I always tell the people, let me introduce you first before you kind of come over and start stroking him because, you know, I get that with more the elderly, you know, wanting to just come and grab him and cuddle him and all of that kind of stuff. But with that, you know, he's really good once he knows how to kind of, or who to interact with. I know I stepped on your foot. I'm sorry, okay? You can relax now. <laughs>